ok now we are going to navigate app exchange like a superhero let's dive in so back to the app exchange home page now first thing I want to log in so here is the login button you click login there you can log in with your um, existing Salesforce login I think mine is the wolf um, okay resourceful wolf right I think let's do that boom I am in oh enter a new password why do I have to change my password okay change the password now I am in so once you're logged in <clears throat> you can install the app exchange apps onto the org you just logged in so now it knows my name Jimmy so if I install this it will go to my resourceful wolf if I go to my hands on org resourceful wolf oh it's the beginner that's okay right not the playful wolf but I'm logged in as the resourceful wolf sure um, now if I install any of these apps it will go to my trailhead playground but first to do that you have to change your password on the trailhead playground remember I've, I've shown you how to do that please search on my previous videos on how to change your trailhead playground password and then you can log in and install apps there so for example if I want to search an app here Salesforce adoption and hit enter so we have these listings for example Salesforce adoption dashboard right so if I click here we have this summary information says it's free you can get it now which will install this onto your trailhead playground and then you have the overview um, details here this overview if they have documentations they will be provided links here and then they have the highlights it's lightning ready it's editable code so you can change it it's not it's not a managed package meaning you can't touch nothing professionals and up is the license of Salesforce required person accounts is a person accounts that we haven't talked about maybe later on on the admin modules advanced probably and then no custom objects is provided no application no tabs and nothing else it's basically just dashboards right and then the requirements is this what you need to have on your org support not provided you know break it your own and play on your own <laughs> additional information package name the version of it the first release and the the latest release so you know if it's an outdated oh it's old app nobody is maintaining it which will break I think so you don't want to install apps that's not being maintained recently just like any other apps if you install from your for your phone or wordpress or any apps you, sh you always want to install stuff that are actively being maintained right because inconsistency lies the power remember that inconsistency lies the power so you have to be consistent in everything you do including you app developers if you want to make apps and sell stuff you have to consistent giving release and support and just caring about the users okay enough of me rambling so now um, you can install it here get it now but sometimes providers have a test drive well what's the difference between test drive and get it now get it now means you have to install it on your org your own org either it's a sandbox org if you have a real Salesforce org it has a sandbox you can set up which we will discuss on developer modules probably and you can also test drive it which will give you access to the providers Salesforce org and just browse around you can't 
create records you just you just can see how things works so that's a test drive function okay so we have reviews here definitely you know how to review stuff right if you want to buy stuff in amazon um install stuff for, for your phone definitely you're going to browse reviews what everybody else is saying if so if everybody says this sucks sucks doesn't work break 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 then oops i'm not going to install that but if just one person is mad for or something they want and they don't have it but a thousand people say it's okay and awesome so you, you get the point right so you can still install that so you can write your own review and then that's pretty much it you can install it let's install this guy but i think we have done it on the admin beginner one right so let's try install i'm pretty sure we've installed this let's not waste the time and uh, you know go back home and install some other free one i just want to install something that's free so if i go for example I don't know customer service is there a free customer service one so I don't want paid I don't want discount I want free baby apply filter just for this test right we oh, yeah, are free Amazon connect CTI adapter survey force let's try this one. Oh yeah from Salesforce labs loving it is definitely from Salesforce I'm gonna click on this survey force probably to make surveys and I'm gonna get it now or yeah I'm gonna scroll down here get it now same thing top or bottom see you can install in production or in a sandbox but as we don't want to log in on my real org I want to go on the trailhead trailhead is a production org okay trailhead is a production org so if I want to go install in production Yeah, review the customization guide you can review the whole thing here ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. whoops this is okay that's fine confirm and install I have agreed allow provider to contact me nope um, confirm and install please complete all the required fields okay zone.io Canada that you happy now okay now I'm gonna install it boom and I have to log in again resourceful banner moose and wolf there boom so here you want to install just for the admins to use this app or for everybody or for specified profile you can choose but I want to install it for all users depending on what kind of app and who you want to be accessing this app okay so for this example I'm just gonna choose all users since it's just a trailhead playground I'm gonna install that and granting access to all users survey force nice and soon i'm going to have our own zone.io app which you can install and that would help our zone.io experts including me to help you with any issues you have on your salesforce so we can log in to your org as support and then we can show you things you know do magic tricks <laughs> Come on, it's taking a while. So I'm not if it's a big one, you might wanna, you know, get some coffee, drink some coffee like this. I'm gonna drink some coffee. Mmm. A nice coffee. And then you're you're gonna be done when the coffee is done. So now you have that installed. If you want to check it, it's package here. Oops. Yeah, sure. 
install packages. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's already there on my face. I didn't even see it. Survey Force is installed. Okay, so we're not gonna actually talk about that, but that's about it. So that's how you install an app. All right. So develop an app. You can you know browse by by this each category which I've shown you in the previous video briefly, but well, it's browsing apps. Anybody who can use amazon.com knows how to browse stuff, right? <laughs> we don't need to explain it. You can browse this stuff. It's just like, just like shopping, dudes. Shopping. Anybody can shop and find and you can find. Oh, yeah, you can also find by solutions here on the top here. Oops, I lost my app exchange. App. I mean, by consultants, you can find consultants and stuff. And then this is how you browse, you know, get it now, save, or you can also test drive, right? This is the reviews tab, overview tab, and expertise for consultants. So if you're, if you are brand, uh, wanting to browse consultants here, I'm not listed here yet. Maybe I should. But I don't have the time. See if you if you are a Salesforce um, developer or admin or or any Salesforce professionals, you're pretty much booked. You don't have time, um, you know, much time because everybody wants uh, you to help um, with their mission. So that's a good thing for learning Salesforce. All right, you will be so much demanded. So you don't you have to you have to pick and choose which one you want to help with their mission and vision. Okay, so what were we? I was talking about oh yeah, consultants, and then you can choose one. This is like a corporation, big consultant firm, and then you can see expertise. What can they do? What can these dudes do? Really, Accenture? Really? You can do those? Whoa, eight eight thousand people. Architect two thousand. Consultant 4,000. So there's a lot of people working at the certain Accenture, right? You can choose which one you need for your business and probably it's going to cost you a fortune. So if you're a big company, no problem. Okay, so uh, view the Salesforce adoption dashboard listing. Yeah, that's what we just did and installed. And you can try test drive or just watch a video which is pretty lame you want to test drive or install in your org okay and that's it let's do the quiz when you develop an app exchange strategy it's important to hmm, yeah and like b no it's a trick question a and b haha <laughs> the app exchange home page gets personalized yep yep Include the search bar, which is your secret weapon. I think ANC is pretty tricky. Eh? It's pretty tricky. Gets personalized to your Salesforce experience after you, you log in. Includes industry collections, which organize listings according to Salesforce product. It's either ANB or ANC. Let's see. Which listings, which listing element can you check to see whether the provider has the documentation? It's on the overview tab. How does a test drive differ from the free trial? Test drive is read only, right? Read only org. Yep. So I'm a bit hesitating about this part here. Uh, it does get personalized, right? I think so. It can uh, recommend it to you, remember? This recommended for you. After you log in, here's what I found for you, Jimmy. See, so let's let's stick with our option and do the boom. Come on. Oh, we got it right, baby. The first try. I'll see you on the next one. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it.
don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom <laughs>